I think he's got reason to be pessimistic. I'm not sure the reason is that 40% figure he, he cited, which I don't know where the basis of it comes from. Uh, the expectations about the Trump administration that China can deliver North Korea have been too high. China's expectations of what they can get away with helping Trump on this issue have been too low. And the gap between the two is what needs to be brought closer together. You know, the Chinese government did release data in April that showed that trade with North Korea was up 37.4 percent for the first three months of this year. Maybe that's the number that he's referring to. What, what should we expect to see from China? What, or where would we see if they were really cracking down on North Korea? Where would it show up? Well, it would show up first and foremost in oil. And oil has been uh, withheld in a small measure from China. And that's driving up from the North price Korea? of gasoline and diesel on the, on the streets of uh, North Korea. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit measurable effect. The Chinese seem to be primarily concerned with preventing a new nuclear test. Uh, they're not so much interested in the long-range missile tests, which bring the threat to the U.S. They think the nuclear threat is right on their border, and they're more concerned about that. What, what, um, what would make us feel like maybe we're making some progress with the Chinese, like maybe they are uh, taking this as seriously as we take this? Uh, what would uh, make everyone think, okay, we can take a step down from the ratcheted concerns and elevated, uh, elevated security concerns? Well, one, one big step would be China interfering with the trade that's going on in these dual-use industries where they can provide uh, chemicals and metals and finished products that can be put into a weapons program but are not themselves weapons uh, by nature. Uh, this, and there's also a lot of banking activity. Uh, at this point, a lot of the, that banking activity is really small scale. You have to get out a fine-tooth comb to find it and stop it. China could do a lot more if it wanted to do on that, on that front. Are we right in thinking that China is our only way out? We've had experts like Wesley Clark who told us on the program yesterday that he, he doesn't see uh, another solution. Do you see any other potential solution? Well, China's got to be part of the program of solution, but the U.S. probably is going to have to talk to North Korea directly. The evidence is accumulated over the decades now that uh, they're mostly preoccupied with what they see as the threat from the U.S. So if we're not part of that and leading the negotiation, we're going to have a problem. Uh, we've got a, a reluctant China that wants to uh, cap the nuclear program in North Korea, but not at the price of losing North Korea. The U.S. has got to find a way, and it's already started, uh, Rex Tillerson spoke on this in New York earlier this past spring, uh, that the U.S. reassures China, we're not trying to bring down the regime and put our own best ally in Northeast Asia right on the border with China, thereby increasing China's sense of threat from the United States, that we want to work out a, a, this, this North Korean problem in a way that ref, uh, respects the equities in national security and otherwise of both the U.S. and China. And that's going to take time and trust. We're not there yet. Doug, I, I just wonder, should we be freaking out now that North Korea appears to have an ICBM? No, I think, I mean, we've seen this coming for some time. Uh, it's part of the same problem. It shows that they're very serious. They're, they're, they've uh, really stepped up their testing of the missiles in the last year to show that their reentry vehicles and their airframes are stable and effective. Uh, building more than two or three of these will not be easy for them. So we don't need to go into a panic mode. The problem is urgent, but it's not that urgent. So we have time to discuss with them possibilities of a freeze in their testing, a freeze in their manufacture of fissile material, and, and see what the price for that might be. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.